Mga ngadlaw, mga higala, welcome to my channel. And uh, last 2017, I, I bought a, a laptop. Uh, it's the ROG Strix, uh, specifically the GL553 VD model. And it at that time, it had uh, 8 gigs of RAM and uh, 128 gigs of uh, M.2 uh, main drive and 1 terabyte of hard disk drive storage. It also had an optical drive. But you know who uses optical drives nowadays. So what I did was uh, because I was doing some uh, video editing, some uh, some creative work, some basic layouts uh, for the school and uh, even for some school heads or uh, other people who would like to avail of my services. I'm really not that good, but I can do this stuff uh, regularly. So what I did was I had to upgrade the RAM from 8 gigs to 32 gig because sometimes I do. Uh, Premiere Pro together with After Effects uh, when I needed to uh, so I had to upgrade that and uh, recently I've noticed that whenever I had to access uh, a bunch of files uh, in the hard drive it really takes a long time to load it up especially with the peak files you know, the audio files when it has to show the peak files and um, when I look into the tasks manager usually the bottleneck is the hardest drive because you know it doesn't really uh, process the fast because of the limitations of a hard disk drive so um, somebody uh, actually gave me uh, two 500 gigabytes of, uh, of hard disk drive the so I'll be uh, putting uh, two of this uh, on my computer on my laptop and uh, these are the Samsung Evo 870 so um, what I did uh, you will find in the video that uh, what I did was I took out the optical drive and replaced it with a with a, a uh, hard drive caddy uh, so I can use that because I haven't been using the optical drive that much why 500 gigabytes why not one terabyte of storage uh, SSD uh, it's because I don't have the money and it was only given to me so uh, I'm really appreciative of, of the person who gave it to me shout out to that person um, because I it is very very useful so what i did with uh, my one terabyte of storage uh, with a one terabyte of hard disk drive i mean i actually put it in a uh, 2.5 inch uh, hard disk drive enclosure so it become it now is my uh, external hard drive uh, this is where i will be putting some of my files uh, but i won't be using this or carrying this around like going to school or going to places because we know that uh, hard disk drives or external hard disk drives are not that reliable. Okay, so when you try to open the cover on, underneath, uh, after you have taken all the screws in the sides, there is this one screw that's in the middle. It's covered by this rubber thing. Uh, so make sure you can use a, a prying tool. Uh, on my case, I use a cutter to do it. Uh, so I can easily remove the cover.
I have put everything together, um, I transferred all my files from the one terabyte hard disk drive uh, using a uh, enclosure to the new SSDs. Now, uh, here are the benchmarks for the two hard disk drives. Uh, you can see all of this after this is after I have already transferred all the files. You can see the benchmarks. Okay, uh, you will notice uh, the, the sequential uh, read and write and the random read and write. Uh, they're not exactly the same, but uh, it's within the ballpark of what they claim to be. Uh, it to be. Uh, this is after, of course, uh, when after I transferred everything to all my files to the hard drive uh, to these SSDs. Now, notice the main drive. Okay, uh, using Samsung Magician, of course. Uh, I think I might need to uh, upgrade the main drive, uh, my M.2, because this is this is really slow. You know, the write speeds are real slow. The random read and writes are way way below. I don't know if this is due to like it's been. I've been using this for more than three years already, so uh, the speed might have been affected. But uh, this is something that I might consider when it comes to upgrading to a new M.2. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope I was able to help you out, uh, give you an idea on how to replace your one terabyte or your hardest drive, I mean, with an SSD. Um, this is a good upgrade for me because now loading times with Premiere is a little much better than as compared. It's not significantly really, really great, but uh, much better than it was previously because uh, there's no bottleneck on the uh, storage device in fact the bottleneck now is in the cpu because i only have four cores eight threads with my cpu and it's like almost four years ago four year ago cpu uh, but it still does the job that i need to do I, i'm not editing with 4k or uh, doing really really very high uh, very very uh, heavy multimedia stuff I'm just I just do the basics like a little bit of After Effects a little bit of Premiere so for me that's good well if you haven't yet subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification button and see you again next time